Howdy, Cowboys Nation! Y'all better buckle up, cause we've got some hot gossip coming your way about the trade deadline, Jerry Jones' viral three-word zinger, and the way Jalen Tolbert is making waves in the Cowboys offense. Before we jump in, do us a favor, subscribe to our channel and smash that notification bell so you're in the loop with all the latest Cowboys news. Alright, let's get to it. Jerry's recent words on the trade deadline are stirring up a storm, and it ain't just cause of what he said, but how blunt he was about it. During a lively chat on 105.3 The Fan, Jerry let his feelings out, dropping a three-word bombshell about the Cowboys' plans before the November 5th NFL trade deadline, not thinking that. Yep, you heard me right, not thinking that. Right when fans were hoping for a big move, Jerry made it clear the Cowboys ain't looking to shake things up. So, what's that mean for our boys as we move forward? Is this a sign that Dallas is gearing up for a serious revamp fueled by salary cap magic after this season? Stick with us as we dive into what this could mean for the future of the Dallas Cowboys. Why's there been so little trade buzz? Folks have been yapping four months about how the Dallas Cowboys are eyeing 2025, which might mean a big ol' reset is on the horizon. But here we are, sitting at a wobbly 3-3, and the silence is deafening. Some fans are hollering four trades to shake things up before they face off against tough teams like the 49ers, Eagles, and Commanders. So, Cowboys Nation, what's your take? Is sitting tight at the trade deadline the way to go? Or should Jerry and the crew make a splash with a big deal? We want to hear from you. Drop your thoughts in the comments. Do you think a major trade could turn this season around, or are you alright with letting things ride for now? And hey, while you're at it, cast your vote in the poll, should the Cowboys make a trade before the deadline or keep playing it safe? Now, looking ahead, one player who's really sure need this season is wide receiver Jalen Tolbert. His path from a quiet rookie season to becoming a crucial part of the offense has been a real highlight in a rocky year. Tolbert's been hustling behind the scenes, soaking up knowledge from veteran Brandon Cooks, and boy, is it paying off. With every game, he's showing he can step up when it counts, making him a player to watch as the season rolls on. All right, y'all, let's dive into the numbers for our boy, Jalen Tolbert. Through six weeks, he snagged 24 catches, racked up 290 yards, and found the end zone twice. Now, looking back to last season when he hardly made a splash, it's clear he's made some strides, two games with over 80 yards and a couple more with 40-plus yards. The key here is consistency for Tolbert in 2024. Coach Robert Prince ain't surprised one bit, he always knew Tolbert had it in him. What do y'all think? Is Tolbert the answer to the Cowboys' search for a solid number two receiver? Get in the comments and let's hear it, has he won your trust as a go-to target in this offense? And what grade would you give his performance so far? Don't hold back. Now, let's be real for a sec. While it's awesome to see Tolbert step up, lean in on him as the Cowboys' number two wide out might not be what fans envisioned this year. The team's in a bit of a transition, and while Tolbert's growth is exciting, it doesn't solve the larger puzzles on this roster. Can the Cowboys really make a playoff run with what they got, or are we looking at a season where we watch the young guns find their footing instead? Looking closer at Tolbert, his development has been nothing short of impressive. After a rocky start, he's not just improved his stats but also his role within the team. Those 24 receptions show he's becoming a reliable target in key moments, especially in tight games. The way he's been able to shake off defenders and create separation is a game-changer, making him a valuable asset on the field. However, it's important to remember that his success doesn't entirely solve the Cowboys' issues at the receiver position. With the NFL getting tougher every season, the question remains whether Tolbert can keep up this pace and help carry the team when it matters most. So, while fans are hopeful, there's still a long road ahead for this promising player and the Cowboys as a whole. 
For some folks, it might be a whole lot more exciting to look at what players like Jalen Tolbert are building for the future instead of just crossing our fingers for a trade that may never happen. If the Cowboys are indeed holding off for 2025, like Jerry Jones and those insiders have hinted, Tolbert could be a key piece of that puzzle. Now, after the bye week, the Cowboys are up against a real challenge five games in five weeks against some of the toughest teams in the NFL. We're talking about the 49ers, Falcons, Eagles, Texans, and Commanders. These matchups are gonna put the Cowboys' current squad through the ringer, and it's gonna be especially interesting to see how Jalen Tolbert steps up and keeps making new plays. So, before we dive deeper, let's hear from you. Are the Cowboys gonna come out of the bye ready to shake things up in the league, or are we looking at a stretch that might define this season as more of a rebuild? Drop your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this breakdown, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. Keep up with all the Dallas Cowboys news, player highlights, and insider info. You definitely don't want to miss a beat, especially with the trade deadline loom, tough games on the horizon, and future stars like Tolbert coming into their own. Howdy, Cowboys fans! Welcome to your go-to spot for all the latest buzz about America's team, right here at Dallas Cowboys News NFL. If you live and breathe football, especially when it comes to our Dallas Cowboys, you're in the perfect place. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe, so you don't miss out on any of the hottest Cowboys news. Now, let's dive into some exciting chatter that could turn the NFL world on its head, especially for both the Cowboys and the Dolphins. With the trade deadline coming up on November 5th, there's a proposal making the rounds that might just send Trey Lance, currently part of the Dallas Cowboys, over to the Miami Dolphins. You might be scratching your head, thinking, why would this be a good move? Just hang tight, I'll break it down for you. This trade could be just what Miami needs to keep their season on solid ground. Let's face it, to Otago Bailoa, the Dolphins' starting quarterback, has had a rocky ride with injuries, especially with those pesky concussions. While he's on track to get back in the game, there's been chatter among medical experts that he ought to think about hanging up the cleats for good, given his health concerns. In a situation like this, it's smart for Miami to seek some backup just in case Tua can't stay healthy through the rest of the season. That's where Trey Lance steps in. This young quarterback, who was a first-round draft pick in 2021, has shown some serious promise during his time playing under Mike McDaniel. You remember him, the Dolphins' head coach who used to be the offensive coordinator for the San Francisco 49ers when Lance was still developing. Well, y'all, even though Trey Lance has been sitting on the Cowboys' bench all season without seeing a single snap, folks still see him as a high-potential, low-risk player. Now, what would it take to get a trade rolling? According to Cody Benjamin from CBS Sports, the Dolphins might snatch him up for a conditional fifth-round pick. If you ask me, for a team like Miami that's looking to shore up their quarterback depth, that sounds like a smart play, doesn't it? Lance's chances of showing off his skills in Miami look a whole lot better than just Hanjin out behind Dak Prescott in Dallas. Now, Flip the script to the Dolphins' side, Tua's expected back for the game against the Arizona Cardinals on October 27th, but who knows if he'll be 100% fit? With all that uncertainty, it makes sense for Miami to snag a backup who already gets McDaniel's system and can develop further with some actual play in time. So, here's the big question for you Cowboys and Dolphins fans, do you think this trade's worth it? Should Miami chase after Lance for some backup insurance for Tua? And is Dallas making the right call by letting him go for such a low draft pick? I'm all ears for your thoughts, so drop a comment down below. And hey, if you like this breakdown, give that like button a little nudge, share it with your pals, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for the latest Cowboys news and all things NFL. There's a whole lot of excitement still ahead this season, and we're in it together. Now, let's dig a bit deeper into the situation with Trey Lance. This young quarterback, 
who once generated a buzz as a top draft pick, has faced quite the roller coaster since joining the league. Finned in himself behind the talented Dak Prescott means he's been sidelined and unable to showcase what he can really do. The trade chatter is heating up, and if the Dolphins pull the trigger, it could give Lance the fresh start he needs. Miami's current QB situation is a bit shaky, with Tua's health always a concern. Having a player like Lance, who's familiar with a solid system, could be just what they need to ensure they've got options when the pressure's on. All in all, it's a move that could benefit both sides if the cards are played right.